Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney and my channel is all about connecting with crystals, learning about their metaphysical benefits, and really just becoming aware of this unique energy that's available to all of us. So thank you for joining me. Today's video is all about the throat chakra. We are making our way up this chakra series. If this is your first time tuning in, I will definitely link in the description the playlist to this chakra series so you can catch up on previous videos. This video is to really help you understand the throat chakra and also recommend some wonderful throat chakra crystals. This is a special video because all the crystals I will be highlighting in this video are from Earthly Aura Crystals, a crystal shop that I love and totally recommend. I'm super excited to show off these gorgeous pieces and dive into today's video. As a disclaimer, I just want to start off by saying I am not a chakra expert, I'm not a Reiki master, and I'm not a crystal healer. I just simply love sharing the knowledge I've learned along the years with you guys. So for the flow of this video, I will be introducing some basic knowledge about the throat chakra, kind of go over some signs and symptoms of a blocked or underactive throat chakra, and really dive into why this chakra holds so much power in our personal energy as it is all about communication. I know we all have had situations where we have used the power of our voice and when we haven't used the power of our voice. And this chakra's health is really key in understanding our own personal power. After I introduce you know, this basic information about the throat chakra, I will then transition over to the crystal section of this video and talk about some wonderful throat chakra stones from Earthly Aura Crystals. So here we are, we have arrived at the throat chakra. This is the fifth chakra in our personal chakras and it is located at the center of our throat. The color that's associated with this color is the color blue and this energy center is all about communication. This chakra has a surprising amount to do with willpower and the choices that arise in life. Expressing our true feelings comes from our heart chakra and our solar plexus chakra. If our throat chakra is blocked or underactive, it really is gonna disrupt the flow in our chakra health. We must be conscious of working on our throat chakra so there is an outlet for our ideas and motivations to come to fruition. Not to mention the psychosomatic diseases that we may experience in our body from a blocked or underactive throat chakra. This really shows up in the body as problems with our throat, the feeling of a lump in our throat, inflammation of the trachea, constant cold and viral infections, jaw pain, and high blood pressure. In the body, our throat chakra links to our throat, our ears, our nose, our respiratory system, our nervous system, our thyroid, skin, sinuses, tongue, tonsils, speech, and body language. Basically, when this chakra is working optimally, you are expressing yourself freely. If you are not, this can really show up as those psychosomatic diseases in the body. I do believe this actually is a very common chakra that is blocked or underactive. Kind of going into some examples of my own throat chakra journey, you know, I do believe that our throat chakra really expresses ourselves in two different ways almost. It's kind of like we have our higher mind, you know, intellectual based conversations or expressing that side of us. And then there's also another expression through our heart chakra, you know, really expressing our emotions and our feelings from our heart center. Kind of like an example of me going into expressing my higher mind, I would say that when I was first starting to collect crystals and starting my spiritual journey, you know, a lot of the experiences I was having, I kept quiet. I didn't really voice, you know, the things I was learning um, to everyone around me. There was only a select few people that I told that I was kind of getting into crystals and learning more about kind of like the spiritual world. And I really do believe that this kind of led to me wanting, you know, over time, keeping quiet, it led to this buildup of me wanting to express all of these experiences I was having and share this knowledge with people, which 
it came out as a YouTube channel. I started to feel like I wanted to express myself and talk about my experiences and this need to start a YouTube channel started to form. Really getting started on my YouTube channel is when I started to consciously think about hey, you know, I should work with more throat chakra stones. That's really what introduced me to really working on my throat chakra more, was really wanting to express myself and my ideas that I was having to the world, really. <laughs> Another huge example that is definitely more universal with everyone, you know, not everyone has a YouTube channel and expressing themselves on YouTube, but another way that we really express ourselves and our throat chakra is really activated is when we express our true feelings and emotions, and this is really coming from our heart center. You're not supposed to have perfect relationships with everyone in your life. You are here to learn lessons. People are here to teach you lessons, you know, the way that we connect with people and communicate with people in our own personal relationships really does play a part in how we are expressing ourselves in our day-to-day -day life. Not every relationship is going to be perfect, we all know that, <laughs> but really understanding how we can become a better communicator I think is a really great asset we can have as we go out into life. This chakra really acts as a gateway of expressing our higher mind and our heart center. So because of this, there are a lot of crystals that will associate with you know, the third eye chakra and the throat chakra or the heart chakra and the throat chakra. There really is this kind of like combo combination of both chakras working together to really express our true authenticity and our true thoughts and feelings. Transitioning over to the crystal section of this video, I have definitely noticed while working with these throat chakra stones, such a big improvement in my communication, whether it's communicating, you know, downloads I'm having from my higher mind or really expressing myself in the most authentic way through my heart center. All of these stones really will help you so much. Just be the real you and express the true you in any type of situation. Alrighty, so the first crystal on our throat chakra list is a crystal I am such a huge fan of, and that is blue lace agate. The frequency of blue lace agate opens and clears the throat chakra and assists in connecting one's communications with one's higher guidance. It is the stone of the diplomat due to its ability to assist one in speaking one's mind and heart in a way that others can hear. Blue lace agate can assist communication in situations where angry words must be avoided and clear understanding promoted. This crystal has been the biggest tool for me when I need to communicate in a level-headed, calm way, you know, really want to get my point across in this situation. My personal experience with this stone is, honestly, I feel like this is a wonderful stone to take with you if you have any kind of therapy session, whether it's one-on-one -on -one therapy, if it's family therapy, couples therapy, you know, whatever the case may be, when you really want to express yourself and articulate your words in the most authentic way, this is honestly the best stone to have with you. It honestly just makes you feel like you are getting somewhere with your words. If you feel like you are not being heard and you need something to assist you in communicating how you are truly feeling, I promise you Blue Lace Agate has this way of honestly speaking gracefully and speaking from your heart and higher mind in a way that is so, you feel so satisfied after speaking your truth and talking about what it is that's bothering you or something that's on your mind. It really brings this energy out of you that you feel like you really are getting somewhere in the conversation and you are working towards a resolution. I personally love the fact that this blue lace agate is in the form of a worry stone. I like that I can push down on it when I kind of feel anxious, you know, if I need to have a conversation with my family or my boyfriend or a colleague or whatever it may be, you know, you're in therapy, you can kind of just push down on this and release some tension as you are talking. This next throat chakra crystal is for all the Pisces out there, the beautiful aquamarine. Aquamarine is a cardinal water element stone. It is a powerful cleansing agent for the emotional body and is one of the best stones to employ in clearing communication issues and really a go-to to anyone who needs to activate their throat chakra. It stimulates the flow of energy and communication from the heart to the throat, assisting one speaking one's deepest and most heartfelt truth. 
When I first got Aquamarine, it was when I was traveling in Sedona and it was not too long after I started my channel. You know, I was really warming up to talking on camera and I really felt like I wanted to get a throat chakra stone that would really help me express myself in the most authentic way. And I really assigned Aquamarine with that intention. I've been using Aquamarine as a go-to for the work on my YouTube channel. I really do feel like Aquamar Aquamarine has a way of ex helping you express yourself in a really authentic way and also kind of, you kind of get past this fear of judgment when you're speaking, you know, it kind of just like has this cooling element, you know, it really does kind of like calm you down and you just talk freely, you know, you express yourself freely. Because of the water element of this stone, you know, I really do feel like <laughs> if you have like a hot temper or if you kind of exchange words in kind of like a, not like mean, but like kind of like a sassy way and you kind of want to work on not being kind of like aggressive with your words, I feel like Aquamarine does have this very cooling and calming effect to really express things in a more you know, calming, not so hostile way. <laughs> and the next crystal on our list is angelite. Communication and communion with beings on higher dimensions are angelite's special gift. Angelite helps one communicate one's intuitive insights and the downloads from the spirit intelligences. Angelite is an excellent stone for dream work and can help one remain lucid in a dream state and to remember the guidance received in dreams. So this is the first angelite I have ever experimented with and I was definitely interested in connecting with my angels. I really wanted to be able to communicate with them. So what I kind of did was I chose to have this angelite next to my bedside and I kind of set the intention, you know, I really want this stone to help me communicate with my angels. And I remember a night where I was listening to music and I heard on the Pandora ad a code word and I have code words for certain angels and I heard the code word and I was like, oh, this is my great grandfather. He's trying to communicate with me. Okay, interesting. So I went to sleep that night and I remember my dream because in my dream, my great grandfather was there. He gave me a kiss and I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I literally heard the code word before I went to sleep and then I had a dream and my great grandfather was in my dream. So for me personally, working with this angelite, I was able to have an experience with an angel. I do feel like having angelite in the shape of an angel might be a little bit of an advantage rather than having like a tumbled piece. I feel like having an angel totem really helps the crystal channel that intention of connecting with your angels. Maybe it's just an idea I have, but I, I do feel like having it in the shape of an angel gives it a little bit more power in connecting with your angels. If you are looking to build a stronger communication with your angels, I highly recommend getting some angelite and possibly, if you can, get it in the shape of an angel. This next stone is a big favorite for a lot of intuitive people out there, and that is Lapis Lazuli. Lapis is a stone of visionary awareness. It is a stone of truth and a stimulating influence to the throat chakra. Therefore, it assists one in both discerning and speaking the truth in all situations. For the spiritual seeker and student, stimulating one's desire for knowledge, developing enhanced intuition. So I would say this is definitely a stone that helps you communicate through your higher mind. If you are currently trying to work on your intuition or you may be noticing that you are kind of receiving some gifts at this point in your life. You know, you feel like you're getting these downloads or you're getting these abilities. You know, you have an option to keep quiet with your gifts or you can express them and talk about them with the world. I personally think it's really important to share your gifts with the world, to communicate to others and talk about your experiences that you are having. I personally am trying to enhance my intuition. I would love to have a stronger intuition. So I've definitely been experimenting with lapis lazuli. I'm really excited because I was given this lapis lazuli bracelet and I have been experimenting while wearing this lapis lazuli. I've been trying to really enhance my intuition. You know, I'm really trying to do like some 
some kind of like games almost. Um, when I wear this bracelet, I'll try to like guess <laughs> the next song that's gonna play. I'll try to, you know, guess the text message that I'm gonna receive. I just kind of do like these little games in my head to see if I'm right. And I will say there have been a couple times where I have, you know, kind of guessed, you know, used my intuition and it's been correct. So I'm definitely on like an ongoing, uh, I'm definitely doing an ongoing experiment with Lapis Lazuli to really enhance my intuition and also communicate, you know, my intuitive thoughts. Also, a lapis lazuli, I feel like, is a wonderful stone to meditate with. You know, if you can place this on your throat chakra, you could even place it on your third eye chakra and kind of see what comes through those meditations. I feel like this has a special energy to it with meditation work. Moving on to our next crystal. This is one of my favorite crystals to manifest with, and that is amazonite. Amazonite is a magnifier of our intentions, and because it works through the throat chakra, these intentions must be spoken out loud. This stone also assists one in identifying how one's words have created one's current reality, and how a change in one's vocabulary or communication style to reflect a higher, more aligned reality. I love working with Amazonite. I feel like this is a wonderful stone to do affirmation work. And if you're new to speaking things into existence, Amazonite is a wonderful companion to have as you experiment with this. Whether you have a blocked throat chakra or underactive throat chakra, Amazonite is really here to help you believe in yourself. This stone works through our heart chakra, making us believe in what we truly want in our heart to be expressed through our throat chakra. It really has a way of making this manifestation process happen fast because we are speaking from our heart's desire. I truly believe this is such a wonderful stone to have in your collection. I was so excited to receive a tower from Earthly Aura Crystals. I think it is so gorgeous and so beautiful. I think it's wonderful to place like on an altar or a special place in your home where you're gonna be speaking those things into existence. Maybe you have it next to a mirror, you know? Affirmation work with Amazonite is very, very powerful. And the last crystal on our throat chakra list is blue kyanite. Blue kyanite aligns chakras and subtle bodies, clearing pathways and meridians. It encourages speaking your truth, cutting through fears, illusions, and blockages, and increasing capacity for logical thought. Kyanite restores chi to the physical body and is a natural pain reliever. I find that kyanite in general is a wonderful stone to help you clear any blockages in your chakras. So blue kyanite is absolutely perfect for clearing any blockages in your throat chakra. If you have a serious blockage in your throat chakra, like you know your throat chakra is super blocked, this is the stone to get. If you have fear of speaking in public, if you have social anxiety, any kind of fear of speaking, blue kyanite is really, really here to help you. This is another stone that is also linked to our third eye chakra, so it really does help with our own spiritual expansion. Working with blue kyanite will not only activate your throat chakra, but it'll also strongly connect you to your higher self and thus communicating more often from that place. To wrap up this video, working with these stones and mindfully diving into our throat chakra will not only help us express ourselves, but we will receive guidance from our heart, our mind, and above. Following the most authentic path leads us to our own individuality, setting us free of our own limiting beliefs. I want to give a big shout out to Renee from Earthly Aura Crystals for helping me pick out these amazing throat chakra crystals. I will be linking her crystal shop in my description box below, so definitely go check her shop out. There might be a discount code down there, so definitely go check the description box for that. My next chakra video on this chakra series is the third eye chakra. I'm really excited to dive into this next video. I have a feeling it's going to be a really fun one, so stay tuned for that one. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to recommend a throat chakra crystal that has helped you so much, 
I would love to hear about it in the comments and I'm sure someone in this growing community would love to hear about it too. If you are new here, I would love it if you subscribed. Come on and check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next one.